so we're going over the two challenge problems from today's uh, class. And we have 18x to the second power minus 50. And they wanted to find out which uh, expression was equivalent to this. So you have four choices. Um, but we're going to go and we're going to start factoring this. So I notice that both of these are not perfect squares. So I'm going to see if I can factor out any uh, common or greatest common factor from this. And if I look at 18 and negative 50, the greatest common factor they both have in common, or their GCF, is 2. So I'm going to factor out a 2 from each of this. So if I divide both of these terms by 2, we're going to factor out that 2, and we're going to have 9x squared minus 25. Okay, so now here, we have a difference of two squares. We have uh, 9x squared minus 25. So we can now do, if we factor this, we can have 3x plus 5, because 3x times 3x is 9x squared, and then 5 times 5. 5 is 25, but 1 has to be positive, and 1 would have to be negative. So 3x plus 5, 3x minus 5, and don't forget that 2 we factored out earlier. So this here is the fully factored form for 18x squared minus 50. So we also had challenge question number 2, which I'll scroll down over here. We'll do that one. So challenge question number 2 said, what are the zeros of the function? So what are the zeros of the function 16x squared minus 64? Now, before we do this, remember, ask yourself, what is this question asking you? So they're asking us, what are the zeros? Now, zeros have a few names uh, that it's also referred to as. So we could have said, so we've said zeros before. We've also referred to this as roots, uh, as solutions, or as x-intercepts. These all mean the same thing. So if you ever see this in a question, they're asking you for the same thing. So another way to think of if they're asking you what are the zeros are, uh, we want to find out what the value of x is, what's the solution of x, when the whole function is equal to 0. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to see, we're going to look at these, and I notice that we have 16x squared, and we have negative 64. So 16x squared and 64 are both perfect squares, so we can factor this using the difference of two squares. So uh, 16 would be 4x, because 4x times 4x would give you 16x squared. So we know that the first term for both of these is 4x. And then 64. So 1 has to be positive because it is the difference. We are subtracting. And 1 has to be negative. And the square root of 64 is 8. So we have 4x plus 8, 4x minus 8. But we're not done yet. We just factored it. We want to find the zeros. So it's equal to 0. And now we have the zero product property. We can set both of these equations, or uh, both of these uh, binomials equals to 0. 4x plus 8, 4x minus 8 equals 0. And then we're just going to solve for x. So subtract 8 to both sides over here. 4x is equal to negative 8. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. You have to scroll down a little bit. Okay. And x is equal to negative 2. But that's just one of them. We have to also do this over here. So add 8 to both sides. 4x is equal to 8. Divide by 4. Divide by 4 x is equal to positive 2. So we can now say the zeros, or the solutions, or the roots, or the x-intercepts, 
they're equal to the solution set. The solution set of x is negative 2 and positive 2. And there you go.